All right, so I'm inside the Juniper booth now, and I'm with uh, Jay Thatil. Uh, you, can you just quick, quick intro to yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Jay Thatil. I'm leading the strategic marketing for Juniper Networks. And uh, we're going to take a look at four different demos. The first one is the uh, SP Managed Services. So tell us what we're going to look at here. Yeah, uh, so you heard from Rami, like how we are focusing on the experience that's networking. We are extending that to have showcase like you know, what are we bringing for the future as well as now. So the customers demands in the future are also already met by now. Um, so here we are showing like what we are doing with our managed services, the full ARD portfolio, how we are bringing that to the service providers and how they can use that for the enterprise customers. And Justin will cover um, the demo and explain like what we're doing on this. All right, Justin, so let's step up and uh, take a look here. Hi there. Uh, my name is Justin Maloney. I'm a product marketing manager for the AI-driven enterprises of Juniper Networks. Um, and what I want to show you today is how our AI-driven enterprises solution can help the managed service provider as they need to deploy different sites. And this is an excellent way for them. I know every, every service provider is looking for more higher margin business and this to me seems like an excellent way to get there. Yes, very much so. Yeah. And it also makes the whole process much simpler. I think that's the key part, right? Because by simplifying it, we can reduce their time needed to troubleshoot, to set up, and get them to revenue much quicker. So in this demo, we do show off that the different challenges service providers face, right? So there's a lot of competition out there. There's a lot of service providers out there. More and more every day. Exactly. Yeah. And we need to differentiate. Um, as we mentioned, we need them to get to revenue faster, we also um, are faced with more complicated networks and the staff that they have to hire is there's a resource gap because there's a lot of skills you need to know. Yeah. Used to be you could just run networks, no BGP, no that kind of stuff, but now you need to know BGP, cloud, Linux, uh, software defined networking, DevOps, all yeah. that kind of stuff. So security is important. Security, yeah. very much Big, security. Yeah. So simplification is very much the key. And so in this demo, um, we show the benefits of Juniper's AI-driven enterprise, which is we're cloud-based, so you have one interface that you log into and uh, manage your whole network through. AI-driven, using the AI to help show you where the problems are, to resolve them quicker, and we give you your full network. So you get your access points, your switches, your routers, and your security all in one place. Now, so we follow two things. We follow a service provider called WeConnect as they're setting up a uh, uh, a clothing store called SuitUp. SuitUp wants to create a pop-up location outside Mobile World Congress, and they need to do it quick. Because there's not enough stuff outside. No, there's not yeah. enough yeah. stuff yeah. out there. Yeah. And uh, we were told we have to wear suits, right? Yeah. So yeah. We, we come to that site to do it. Now, obviously, they want to do it quickly. Um, they want to make sure that it's up, because it's only a couple days. So if, if there's an outage or anything, they could lose their business. Yeah. And like you said, there's a lot of other competitors out there. So they need to make sure that they differentiate from anyone else. And so we connect chose Juniper's uh, product to do that. Um, through the demos, we show how we simplify day zero, day one. So that's planning your network and then deploying your network. Day two, which is once the network's up, making sure if there's anything to troubleshoot, and then day two plus. What other values can we add? In this yeah. case, we look at indoor uh, location services. And I think that's really been unique to you because I think there's been a lot of focus historically on day zero, mm -hmm. you know, helping networks get set up, but nobody could really help on the operational on side, the right? Exactly. Which is, I think, why the you look at the operational cost of for the telcos have running networks. It's you know five dollars I've seen for every. Uh, for every dollar they spend on equipment, they're spending five dollars in the operation. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And but but even like and you're very correct about that. But even from the day zero, we make the the deployment so easy. We make it take from several hours to a full day to just one hour to set up your whole network. And how we do that is through templates. So again, you have the one platform that you log into that gives you your access points, your switches, and your routers. You can use variables to make the templates easier. Mm. And then, when you get in here, you just say, with this new location, I want it to look like all my other pop-ups. Go assign it to the pop-up, and done. Easy configuration of your policies, so who has access to what, including security in there. So in this example here, I can show my guest network is allowed to access the internet, but it's going to go through my IDP features. 
and these ID fe features are on box on the site. We can also send that traffic up to our Juniper Secure Edge to, if you need to deploy a full SASE solution. And once we get it up to the Secure Edge, we can configure all of our policies through our Security Director Cloud. And then lastly, when it comes to the actual deployment of the devices, we just use simple QR codes. Oh. Through the QR codes and an app, you scan it and assign it to the site, and it just hooks up to the internet, connects, this is where the cloud base comes in, connects to that cloud, and it's good. And we have this on our switches, our routers, and our access points. And then you can also, um, if you don't want to use an appliance, you can also put the software onto a white box hardware. That's a whole lot simpler than the old CLI model. Huh? Mm -hmm. Where were you guys when I was an engineer? Exactly, <laughs> and, that, and that's our whole goal is we're trying to get out of the CLI. We yeah. don't want you to have to jump in there at all. So that's how we can deploy easily. And then we got some nice graphics to show a little uh, system come up and everything. But then, as you brought up, the day two stuff. So everyday operations. We want to be able to proactively see if there's a problem and resolve that issue. And then also if we get a ticket, make it easier to figure out what that wait, is. Wait, I thought the model was wait for the customer to call <laughs> and then it'll always be one day behind. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you can do that too. Yeah. <laughs> But um, this, this, is, this view here is particularly important for the service providers. This is our MSP dashboard where they break down the wireless, the wired, and the WAN side for the customer. We show all our service level experiences so that you can easily see, in this particular case, my switch at this site called Live Demo has a problem with connections, successful connections are low. Or is the problem the application that the user is trying to access? and they can jump down, click on the button, and it jumps down them to an area where they can further troubleshoot why are we having hmm. connection problems. So it doesn't show you that you have a problem, but where that problem yeah. emanated from. Exactly. Yeah. And that's actually the harder part to figure out. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because even look here, right? We click on that the problem is an authorization problem, and we click affected items, and these are the users and the access points that are being affected. Right? So that helps us get to there proactively. Now, in our story, we find out that an AR mirror that Sudev has is not working right. And so we find that through what we just saw there in the metrics, we can see that there's a bad connection. So we go to our portal and we say troubleshoot mirror, right? And this is where the Marvis, this is where the AI comes in. This is our Marvis virtual network assistant. And those aren't keywords, right? That's actually a natural language process. Natural language, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Just troubleshoot. You know, we like to do sometimes um, the network sucks. <laughs> Yeah. And it'll go in there, and Marvis will say, these are the reasons your network sucks, or these are the... But not your network. Affected. No, 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 yeah. never are. Yeah. 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 No, there's never problems. Yeah. Um, but the other thing that Marvis shows us here is from the client to the cloud, where is the issue? Because that's a lot of the troubleshooting. I find out that there's a problem. Is it the application that I'm using? Is it just a user that's affected, the access points, the switches, or yeah. the routers? And what I like about this is, historically, we've managed these things in silos, right? But I always say applications don't care that your WAN team mm -hmm. is different than your Wi-Fi team. Exactly. Right. So now you're looking at things as one big network, right? Mm -hmm. which, is, which is really how you understand experiences. Exactly. Yeah. You see the whole network, and you don't have to, because traditionally, and how you probably used to do it was, all right, let's see, is it the user? How many users are affected? Is it the access point? Are all the users at that one access point affected? Is it the switch? Are all my access points a switch? affected, is it the whole site or is it the application? And you have to cross everything off till you say, okay, maybe it's the application. With this, we will tell you, it's the application, it's the user, it's the switch, it's the router. Got it. Um, so then, you know, you can click on and see further information, but we also have, with our AI, a way to tell you proactively where we think the issues are. This is called our Marvis Actions page. Breaks down the same thing. WAN edges will be your, your, your router, your switches, your access points, your users, and things that you can do to resolve them. So we, in this case, we have an access point with a coverage hole. It says, there's a coverage hole. Please reposition or add more oh. access points. And then we can take a look at this little uh, location map that shows us, as we zoom out, it's that access point up at the top that has the problem, the red one. Oh, that's very So clever, we can yeah. easily go and, and throw in more. Um, so in this story, that's what we use to resolve. We tell the store, hey, we know your mirror's got a problem, and you can move an access point or get more coverage to that particular location and resolve it. 
The last thing we show after that, after we get the mirror up and running, is how can we help we connect and suit up add additional revenue to their business? And in this case, we're using the indoor location services. With indoor location services, they walk, um, when a customer walks into a site, they might have a QR code like this that just says, log on to our Wi-Fi. Then we set up little areas within the store that say, when a user gets to that, that site, send them a little um, text Promo message. Something, yeah. yeah, something that just says, hey, come on in. Uh, suits are on sale today for you, or anything kind of like that. And so that's what we do in this case, is we say, when users get to this uh, area back here, we're going to send them a message that buy one, get one free. Hmm. And we can just determine the area of that, so that as these users come on board, the Wi-Fi router says, or the access point says, yep, you've got, um, as you'll see, a pop-up here. One new message, right? And so, so something like Mobile World Congress, have somebody walk yeah, by so your Yeah, so it's timely, it's personalized, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Exactly. And so, so those are some of the cool things that we can do with the AI-driven enterprise. As you can see, for the service provider, it gives them benefit by simplifying the deployment, so faster time to revenue, using the uh, automatic insights to be able to troubleshoot it not a couple days in the future, but either yeah. day zero or as soon as you get the um, question about it and add additional revenue through additional services added on. And then for the enterprise, they're going to be happy because their network's going to be running. Their users are going to have a great experience. And we have easy onboarding, seamless onboarding to their secure cloud, whether they want the uh, functions at the branch or up in the cloud. All right, Justin. Well, thanks for that. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go or the next station. But after that, I'm going to go buy a suit outside, I think. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, thank All you right. so much. Thanks. I appreciate it's the demo. Thanks. Yeah.